Surf's up space ponies. I'm making gravy without the lumps. And I want to show you something super neat. Okay, so I went to Wonderfest and I uh, bought some of this neat crap at um, Cult TV Man's table. Now these are easy LEDs. The simple lighting solution. So you get 60 centimeters of LEDs. And I got the blue version here, okay? So the w reason why I bought this is because I want to use it to light up my Millennium Falcon by Fine Molds. So here is the box. Okay, this is the 1144 scale. So I bought, let me open this up here. I bought this clear resin piece. So, okay, the cool thing about the Bondi version is that uh, you get the back thrusters is automatically in clear blue. Now this is just regular clear. It's not it's not blue colored, it's just regular clear resin. Okay? So what you do with the fine molds at least is that this will glue into place here. Like so. Let me uh, zoom out here a little bit. Okay. So what happens is Okay, so this this fits into place like so. Now what I'll have to do is I'll have to cut out this stuff here all along here because this is going to get in the way of the glowing. So I'll, what I'll have to do is put the LEDs in the back here, okay? So this has got to go. I'll have to cut this off from both the top and the bottom here. See this here as well. This has to go. Uh, the piece that it comes with, with the kit, you're supposed to just color it, you know, paint it blue and it's just kind of just fits into place here. But if you're going to light it, uh, this is it has to be removed, okay? All right, I've explained that adequately enough. So, you got this clear resin here, and what is nice is you can use this L this easy LED stuff here, okay? Let me zoom back in here. All right, now uh, there are Bondi lighting kits for the the 1144 Millennium Falcon, the the Force Awakens version Millennium Falcon. They're okay. Um, those lighting kits are made specifically for the uh, you know, the, I would say that the Bandai Force Awakens model kit is made specifically to be used with their own uh, lighting kit that they have, okay? And uh, the lighting kit, it comes with like four clear LEDs, just white LEDs. And that's why you would have the, the blue, uh, clear blue plastic for, for the thrusters there, okay? So, um, what you do is you open this up, it comes with instructions here. This is super easy to use, okay? Now, it comes with the instructions here. It tells you you don't need to use any resistors. Okay, so you just cut it out. So, like for example, here's a resistor. You don't need to use this. Now, the only time I've really delved into this kind of thing was um, back in November, and I haven't really touched this kind of stuff since then. Um, I did a unboxing of the uh, uh, what you call it, um, the Andromeda from Space Battleship Yamato. Okay, so every, what, two inches or so, you got this, uh, you got these LEDs, or I think these are actually SMDs, they're tiny little LEDs here. Okay, so what you do is you just cut, okay? This is super easy to do. You just cut at this line here, there's a little icon of scissors, you just cut, just with your scissors. Easy, easy easy and you got these little uh, these little circular contacts here on on either side here okay but you just cut the length so for example uh, if you're gonna do this uh, uh, the the fine molds or the Bondi as well I'm sure it's the same size pretty much you have to use about uh, what six seven you have about eight 
you can use here. Now you got one more. The thing is you have to cut this off in threes. You can only cut these where it tells you to cut or it's not going to work. So you got this extra LED. You can cover it up or whatever. Or you can have it going to something else if you want to try to thread some uh, uh, fiber optics to go elsewhere. Okay. So you just cut. Here's three, six, nine. You cut it with the scissors, okay? So what I've already done here is there's three segments, okay? There, I, I have three segments on this, this tape here. Now, they also sell these easy connectors. Now, I have one here, okay? So red is positive, black is negative. So what you do is you look here, and so this is positive. Okay, so this is positive, this is negative. You can see it has uh, the positive and then the negative here. So what you do is slide, is this, is this in focus? Let me make sure here. All right, so let's put this into place. Okay, top is positive, bottom is minus. So these little things slide into here. You got these little contact teeth, and they just sit on top of those little circles here. Okay, you got a circle here, you got a circle here. You clamp it in a position, and you have a closed circuit. I don't really know how this works, but when you cut it where you're supposed to cut it, you don't have any problems here. Okay, so check this out. I have this 9 volt. Ah, 9 volt battery thingy. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now we got this uh, little breadboard here. So, this is pretty easy crap. Alright, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. Um, if an imbecile like myself can do this, you can too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put, you got to test this LED out. I've already done this earlier today. But I'm going to show it to you because I'm such a nice person. So, I'm going to have this just regular, just switched off, okay? So the red goes into the red. Now, to recap here, this is like the positive, this is minus. It goes all the way up the length here, okay? And you have these rows, okay? What you want to do is just complete a circle, just a circuit, and that's that's how this thing works. So, red goes into red. That's positive. Black goes into the blue, which is which is uh, negative here. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is jump. Again, this is easy. I can do this. You can do it. Um, I have these little jumpers here. They're just made for working on breadboards or you know stuff and things. All right. So I'm just gonna jump this over to anywhere. It doesn't matter which row it is. Okay. But I'm just gonna stick this here. Okay. Oh, you didn't see that. So I'm going to jump it from here to here, okay? So positive goes to here to positive, okay? So when I connect this LED thing, it has to be on the same line as, as, as this doohickey here, okay? So what I'm going to do is hook this into this hole here, stick it in there, all right? And then I'm just going to put the black into another hole down below somewhere. Anywhere is okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let me, uh, ah, crap. Okay, red goes into that. Okay, and the same line as the other one, as you can see. The black is going to go down here somewhere. doesn't matter where. Okay, now it's in there. Okay, so in order for this to work, I then have to jump the black on this line. Okay, any of these holes, it doesn't matter which, back onto the minus. Okay, so then from here, the minus, it travels down and it goes back into the battery here, which is this thing here. Okay, the 9 volt battery. So, now that this is. It popped out. Oops, I get pure fault. Alright. 
now that this is all set to go here, I'm going to move this into place. I'm going to zoom back out. Check this out. Turn this off. Turn off the light, and voila. Check that out. It lights up. So it has resistors already built in. You don't have to do anything. It, this is super duper easy, okay? This is so freaking cool. Now, um, let me get my resin piece here. So, of course, if you have this right up against the resin, you're going to see those points of light. Thousand points of light! Okay, so what you want to do is to have it kind of set back a little bit more and let it diffuse. You see how that diffuses the resin? If you want it to diffuse more, I imagine you can do like, um, maybe like a, just airbrush some, some white, I suppose. Just lightly airbrush some white. And uh, but check that out. There's your Millennium Falcon right there. This is so cool. It actually it has a deeper blue color in person. Not so much on the video because I'm looking in the camera here. Um, it looks better in person than it is than it does here. But this is it. This is going to be your Millennium Falcon in the back. So that is pretty awesome. This is going to be perfect for your warp nacelles for your uh, Starship Enterprise, for example. And the cool thing is, is that it's got this uh, 3M here. It, this is sticky tape. On the back here, it is a sticky. So you can just uh, stick this into place on stuff and things. Isn't that cool? So, um, yeah, I'm, I want to... Uh, it makes me want to get working on this uh, Millennium Falcon kit. But that is pretty freaking cool. I just wanted to share this with everybody and show you how easy you can do this. And, uh, you know, when you, when you actually build a model, which I have not yet ever lit a model, but, you know, this is basically how you can test it out to make sure it's going to work. Um, you would just solder these wires together instead of using this uh, blue breadboard. Um, now, if you're going to have other stuff going on, you might get a little circuit board and just solder the, the contacts. But that's, that's all you have to do. So, happy modeling. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. So long and thanks for all the fish. Goodbye.